Hello friends, welcome to today's tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we have covered one of the important concepts of the Kafka where we learn about the consumer groups and we saw how the messages get consumed by the different consumers present in the same group. And along with that, we also saw what are the rules set by the Kafka broker. For example, that if the two consumers are belongs to same consumer group, then it is not allowed to consume the message from the same partitions. So these are the things we have covered in the previous tutorial. So today we are going to cover Kafka workflow. So there are total two workflow we are going to look in this tutorial in this tutorial. So Kafka workflow as a published subscribe messaging. Then we will see the Kafka workflow for the consumer group. So let us start. So Kafka provides both publish, subscribe and a queue based messaging system in a fast, reliable, persisted and fault tolerance and the zero downtime manner. So in both the cases, producers simply send the message to a topic and consumers choose any one of any one type of the messaging system depending on their need. So let us follow the steps in the next section to understand how the consumers choose the messaging system of their choice. So Kafka workflow as a published subscribe messaging system, how it works as a published subscribe messaging system. So below are the steps in which the all the workflow happens when the like from starting from the publishing a message in the Kafka broker and then finally it is consumed after consumption the consumer process the message so we will see step by step how all these things work so let us start with the very first step the very first step producer publish a message on the topic okay so here the very first step is producer publish a message on a topic then Kafka broker store the messages in the partitions configured for the particular topic. So if you don't know about the partitions, like how the topics are get breakdown into the partition and how it works, I already explained in the previous tutorial. If you want, you can check it out. So here Kafka broker store the messages in the partitions configured for that particular topic. But in, in the case, like if suppose producer did not spe specify the partition in which the message should be stored, then the broker ensure that messages are equally shared between the partitions. So if you did not configure like how the message get distributed among the partition, then the broker Kafka broker itself ensure that messages are equally shared between the partitions. So if the producer send the two messages and there are two partitions, then Kafka will store one message in the first partition and the second message in the second partition. So this is how the Kafka store the messages. So in the third step, consumer subscribe to the specific topic. And once the consumer subscribe to the topic, Kafka will provide the current offset of the topic to the consumer and also save that offset in the ZooKeeper. If you remember in the earlier tutorials, I have already explained what is the meaning of offset. So offset is nothing just a unique identity number assigned to published masses on the Kafka top on the Kafka broker. So each message having the unique ID. Okay. So that is the meaning of offset. So consumer request the Kafka at regular interval for the new messages. So it can also be configurable like after five minutes consumer poke or like pull or ask from the Kafka broker to send the message. So once the Kafka receive the message from the producer, it forward this message to the consumer. So once it is received kafka once received the message from the producer it forward to the consumer so consumer consumer will receive the message and process it according to the business requirement so once the message are processed and the consumer will send a acknowledgement to the kafka broker 
so once the receiving the acknowledgement kafka increment the offset and update it in the zookeeper so here the zookeeper is also playing the very important role by storing the offset number or the latest uh, published latest consumed uh, number of the message like latest uh, identity number of the message which is consumed by the consumer so since offsets are maintained in the zookeeper the consumer can read the next message correctly even the broker outage so since the zookeeper and the kafka broker both are separate entity so once the broker goes down at that point also the consumer knows what is the current uh, offset number or the latest consumed message number because zookeeper is still on and it is present on separate broker so the above flow will repeat until the consumer stops sending the request so here the consumer is asking from the broker to send me the message so once it is consumer stop sending the request it will the uh, the flow will stop so now in the last step consumer can rewind or skip to desired offset of the topic at any time and read all the subsequent messages so it since the consumer uh, like offset details are present in zookeeper and our consumer already know so uh, from this number i need to uh, read the message from the kafka uh, broker so it is up to the consumer like if if it does not want to read some particular message or some set of the message then it can easily skip okay so that is the meaning of last uh, uh, last uh, point so these are the kafka workflow as a publish subscribe messaging now let us see the kafka workflow for consumer group so here instead of single consumer a group of consumers from the consumer group can subscribe to a topic and the messages are shared among them so let us check the workflow of this system but before uh, going forward if you don't know what is consumer group how the consume how the message uh, is like how the topic is break down into the partitions and how the partitions assigned to the consumer group then please check out my previous tutorial where i have explained the in a detail about the consumer group so let us see the workflow how the kafka workflow for the consumer group so the very first step producer publishes a message on the topic then kafka store all the messages in the partitions configured for party particular topic similar to the earlier scenario so in the third step a single consumer subscribe to the specific topic assume the name of the topic is topic hyphen 01 with the group id as a group 1 so here group id is a consumer group id and in single consumer group id or in the single consumer group there can be of multiple consumers present so one of them can subscribe to the particular uh, particular like one of consumer can subscribe or all the consumer can subscribe to the topic 01 so kafka interact with the consumer in a same way as a publish subscribe messaging until new consumer subscribe to the same topic so topic hyphen 01 be the same group id as a group 1 so if suppose there are total two groups two consumers are present in same group id okay for example in the group 1 earlier there was only one consumer now there are two consumer so in this case once the new consumer arrives then kafka switch its operation to share mode and such that each message is passed to only one of the subscriber of the consumer group 1 so this is the rule like if uh, there are two consumers are present in same group then the only one consumer in the same group is allowed to consume the message of the of the particular partition in a 
in a more clear way single partition message cannot be consumed by same consumer if it is both the consumers are presenting presenting same group id or same consumer group this message transfer in a similar queue based messaging as only one consumer of the group consuming consumes the message right in a queuing based messaging system only it is working like only one consumer is allowed to consume the message from the group unlike uh, unlike the queuing based messaging messages are not removed after the consumption if you know in the queuing based messaging messaging system so once the messages get consumed by the consumer it get removed but in the case of the kafka the message is not removed after the consumption so and that is the thing so let us uh, see the next point so this message transfer can go on until the number of consumers reaches the number of partition configured for that particular topic so once the number of consumers exceed the number of partitions then the new consumer will not receive any message until an existing consumer unsubscribe it so let us assume a one scenario in the previous tutorial also i have i have explained if the number of partitions is less than number of consumers okay so let us assume there are total two partitions and there are three consumers are available to consume the message so in this scenario one consumer has to wait in a idle state like it is not doing anything so uh, once the any of the working any of the two working uh, consumer unsubscribe that unsubscribe that particular topic then the third consumers are allowed to uh, subscribe to that topic so that is the meaning this scenario arises because each consumer in the kafka will assigned a minimum of one partition so once all the partition are assigned to existing consumer the consumer consumer will has to have to wait so that's why it is have has to wait so these are all the things i wanted to cover so let us summarize what are the things we have learned in today's tutorial today we have learned the kafka workflow as a published subscribe messaging then we saw the kafka workflow for the consumer group so in the next tutorial we are going to cover about the role of the zookeeper so zookeeper is very important it is play a very significant role in the kafka workflow from publishing a message to finally consuming it by the consumer so in between that there is a very significant role of the zookeeper so in the next tutorial we will see about the zookeeper so thank you so much for watching this video and bye